Webdan. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's the first time I think I've seen you in the chat. It says it says you have a question. Go ahead and drop it in there, and, and, and I'll try to get it answered here in a few. The next question, though, comes from Tim Rehack on YouTube. What happens when your beer is over 4.5? Do you add acid to get it lower at packaging? I can't speak uh, specifically to um, like what I'm doing right now with uh, Sonder because that's uh, not anything that I've come across there. Uh, but in the past, uh, when I speci specifically started targeting post uh, or finished beer pH and I started experimenting with it, um, yes, I have adjusted beers down uh, with acid. I was using phosphoric acid to do that. You could also use lactic uh, as well. Um, but yes, I, I, I was adjusting beers uh, down post. Uh, and what I was doing is you could actually add that uh, to a fermenter and, or, or to, a, to a bright tank and an inline transfer. Uh, you could add it you know, as the, as the beer is being racked in through, uh, as long as the pressure is dropped low enough and you're not going to blow your face off with the PRV, um, have your pressure drop low enough, get that PRV off of there, add that to the top as the, the, the head, the, the head space is being displaced, right? Um, you can do that. So it mixes, uh, there, there's a lot of options there. There's, there's a lot of options, but, uh, yes, I have. Um, and, uh, when you find the pH and, and, and test different ranges for different beers. Um, and, and when you find what you're happiest with, uh, keep running, keep running, replicate it. Uh, appreciate the question, Tim. Uh, yeah. And, uh, Srivas has a great, a great point. Um, just to follow on Adam's answer to the CIP question, whoever your chemical supplier is, get their technical support number and sit down, uh, for a call with them, and they'll usually help you answer most of those questions. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's um, uh, You can get some good hands-on process stuff from me, um, but a book like this and then working hand-in-hand -hand with, with your supplier is, is, is a great way to go. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're going to maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.